Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No worries, no worries, no worries, no worries. No worries, no worries. Are you okay? You say sorry, you say sorry. Say sorry. You say sorry. Ow. Jacob, you say sorry? What did you do? You look, you look where you're going, right? Okay, keep going. Keep walking. Welcome to episode two of Dad Talks. And today what I want to talk about are things that scared me when I was a kid growing up. You might be thinking dark rooms, clowns, the boogeyman, yeah. things like that. I was afraid of all those things, but if you're anything like me, I was sure as hell more afraid of my parents. And by parents, I mean being disciplined by my parents. Lucky for me though, my parents never really beat me when I was young. I had an older sister. I saw what she did and how my parents chased after her. So I was relatively more obedient. But I did get yelled at quite a lot though. I got yelled at for not doing my homework, not getting good grades, not finishing my dinner, um, leaving the lights on, playing too many video games. But one thing that really did stand out was my parents yelled at me for not being careful, running into things and breaking things. I can still hear my mom's voice saying, hey, watch out for the TV, watch out for the table, watch out for the desk, watch out for that chair. Don't run it over, you're gonna break things. You might be thinking, hey, that doesn't sound too bad, but she says it in Chinese and it's a lot harsher. This is an example. Sam 嗯, so that was exaggerated a little bit. My mom wasn't that crazy, but sometimes it did make me think if she was putting materials up here and me down here. But something happened a week ago that changed my mind completely. Jacob was running around in the house. His head's really big and he doesn't really look at where he's going. So he's running like this. Right? You know, kids, that's how kids run. They just run without look. Yeah, watch where you're going, buddy. He was closing in on the kitchen table and I yelled out, hey, watch the table. Sure enough, he hit his head on the kitchen table and fell down. Before I could pick him up and ask if he was okay, he stood up, dusted himself off, and he was like, oh, sorry, table. That just left me a little bit speechless because I could see clearly what I picked up from my parents growing up translated over to how I'm doing parenting today. I wasn't at all worried about the kitchen table. I was more worried about him hurting his head. What I should really be saying is watch out for your head. Don't get hurt. Walk slower. Don't trip. Don't fall. Because kids are so smart nowadays and I sure don't want him to think that I value the kitchen table over him. And that's pretty much it for this story. Stay tuned for the next Dad Talks video.